Hi everybody, welcome back to my channel. I'm Ashma. So I was filming a tour of my apartment here in Seoul, but I found a full tour of my apartment back in 2020, which is what this video will be. So this video will have all the information from the rent, from the utility bills and so on and so forth. So watch it till the end. Hope you enjoy and don't forget to subscribe. Please subscribe. Bye. Enjoy. This is the entryway. The door is light gray and the walls are ivory. On the left side are these cupboards. These are massive. They can hold a lot of stuff. Right at the entrance, we have a small space to take off our shoes before we enter the apartment. Very Korean thing, but I like it. On the right is the kitchen. This is how it looks. Let's start from this corner. So this is my cutting board and we use two oils, olive oil and uh, canola oil. This stove here has two burners but this one is very not very useful because it's very small doesn't give a lot of heat and the big burner is the one we use another problem with the stove is that because it's vertical you can't keep two vessels at the same time also it's very difficult to clean but these stains came with the apartment and uh, you light it from here as I showed in the previous apartment video there's no need for a light lighter but we still have a matchbox in case it doesn't work we have some pictures and postcards to just brighten up the area. This one is a postcard I bought from Mangwon, which is a neighborhood in Seoul. I really like fresh salads, to, so that's just there to represent it. And this is a page cut out from a magazine, which I got from my temple stay in Seoul. I really like it. I think it's really pretty. Then towards this side are the normal, uh, usual, everyday things like the scoop, my everyday pan, the chimta. Uh, here are our everyday mugs and glasses. All these four mugs are from Daiso. These two steel glasses are everyday Indian steel glasses and we bought it from India. Here is the ugly part. This is the dishwash detergent, hand sanitizer and an empty bag to dispose the food waste. Now even in this tiny kitchen we have a lot of storage. So we have two storage units on the top. Let me show you this one. This is not very organized as you can see, but I don't like keeping my stuff in a basket. I just like everything displayed so I can quickly grab it, whatever I need. So we have uh, tea, sugar, coffee, peanut butter, cinnamon sticks and some herbs for pasta. Not very organized. Then we also have uh, storage towards the bottom. Let me just show you this drawer which is very handy. This is my, again, everyday items. This is the Indian uh, masala dabba, the Indian spice box. Then the chakla, I don't know what is chakla called in English, but the rolling pin to make the rotis, to make the naans, as they say. And then this is my favorite tea, and we have a lot of uh, tea. This is peach tea. There's clove, there is cardamom, and then this is also tea. We also have a full-size uh, fridge. The casing of the fridge matches with the other things in the kitchen. So it makes it look very pretty. It doesn't stand out, which I like. Then there's this whole uh, huge freezer towards the bottom. Let's just check it out what's inside the fridge. These are my random paintings. Uh, just very randomly here. Wow, we have a lot of alcohol because it's weekend. Then... Usual things, this is a very good strawberry jam. I really like it. This is the pickle, achar, some cut onion, uh, tomatoes, and uh, yogurt, mango, uh, amul ghee. So, yeah, sab milta hai, thoda mehenga milta hai, but amul ghee and then bread. And yeah, that's about it. This is our main sitting area of our living room. A uh, very basic couch from Ikea, the throw and all the cushions are from Kupang. Uh, the table is from Ikea and this jute basket is from, I think it's the cane basket from Daiso. And we have a uh, very minimal things here, our Bluetooth speaker and our AC remote. I don't like clutter on my table. And uh, then towards the opposite end of the couch, we have another shelf-like situation, which also acts my vanity. Let me show you in detail. So there is this Korean dictionary and travel guide. Haven't used much. Then the empty, you will find a lot of empty boxes of Kupang uh, in my apartment, which I use as baskets. We have a coloring book here. A lot of uh, unused diaries because Chirayu likes to collect stationery and diaries. Then here we have 
some books this is again uh, i was reading about korea a great book i will link it in the description box if someone wants to read it then here we have our basic skin care and makeup and then right next to it we have a full length mirror which is also the favorite part in my house so the bed is from ikea all the beddings the bed sheet and the quilt cushions pillow covers are from india i got everything from india because i did not know that where will i buy it from korea but no need to get it from india you get all the stuff from daiso adjacent to the bed i have my desk so i spend most of my time here working chilling watching netflix even eating sometimes so it's a little messy let me show you in detail i always have my uh, cup of water to sip while i work then this is my diary which i'm currently using and it's it's pretty right and then all these stickers which i show on my um, instagram videos all the time a little candle set and my painting plate which i never wash because i like it this way the painting uh, water palette and um, a little diffuser my pens then all of these artificial flowers just to put in some color then all my painting accessories pencil colors then here we also have more stickers this is uh the recent coffee cafe i recently visited i don't like throwing anything i am a hoarder so even like this is the coffee place i recently visited so i don't like throwing anything Then I also have this chair which is from IKEA. It's pretty comfortable, basic ivory color to match the overall color theme. And this is how the bedroom looks from here. Then the last thing to show is my bathroom. Nothing fancy here. Everything is very simple. Let me just show you. uh we have a candle which smells really good by the way so the initial idea was to keep this color theme in my bathroom but now you will also find a lot of grays we also have this little cut out frame thing then here we have a nice storage then we also have a washer a full fledged washer here but everything is in korean but let me just show you what i did i printed i translated it and printed it so that i never forget it and uh, yeah it's kind of cool and then this is the ugly part all my laundry detergent toilet cleaner and the mop system which i got from india is totally useless don't get it from india you can buy very nice uh, vacuum cleaner and mops from korea as well so yeah that's about bathroom hi guys so i hope you enjoyed the video uh, here are the details i know you all have been waiting for these uh, the rent of the apartment is 1000 uh and the utility bills we get two utility bills one is for electricity water and the apartment uh, maintenance and the other is for gas bill together these utility bills round up to about $500 so together in the entirety the rent comes out to be about $1500 uh and yeah if you have any questions as how we found this apartment what was the search process which are the apps or which are the websites to look for the rent and the uh, all the details just let me know in the comments and i will get back to you also you can message me on instagram i'll put my handle up there or here anywhere on the screen just follow me on instagram message me i will definitely reply you and i'm also planning to make a video on how did we search this uh, apartment or this house uh, and i hope you enjoy the video if you did please subscribe like and share to subscribe and see you in another video bye